I don't know who selected the people he had to feature mm-hmm. on the remix from AEC to Olase to Manifest. Yeah. Um, was it intentional? It was intentional. Um, so also, but it was also divine. Okay. Because initially when I thought about the remix commercially and as a business person yeah. inside the music, I thought of also why not have, um, at the time, um, Kwame Eugene had just come um kiddie had just come yeah. came promise was it was it was that we, we it was around that time so i was like okay why not have all of these guys on yeah. the remix yeah. you know yeah um but it's a spiritual song so if if you don't connect to the song you can't you can't yeah so we sent it out and the feedback we didn't get um you know a lot of good feedback is it, did it, uh, are you talking about the Kwame Eugene? You sent it to them and you didn't get any response from them. Yeah, the responses so were the not... So the first, the feature was supposed to be um, have Kwame Eugene or Kidi or the New Age artist. Artist, yes. That was but the plan. you didn't get any response from yeah, them. Apart from Kim Promise who responded, who responded yes. Okay, but he, he's not on it. Yes. So I, so apart from them, I also gave it... I gave. I okay, gave okay, the okay. song to quite a number of artists. Okay, okay. Because one thing about me and features is that I'm careful with who I work with. Yeah. So I wanted somebody that would connect with a song. I didn't want somebody that w- would be forced to do a, do, a verse. Yeah, I get it. So yeah. I left it open. Okay. And then I thought about it. I was like, no. Um, when it comes to artistry, I really respect Walasi. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, AC mm-hmm, mm-hmm. vocally and whatever um, I love their work yeah let me just give them let me just leave it for them to work on it mm-hmm. as well and we manifest we've always at the time we've always said ah oh, we want to do something we need to work on something we yeah, need to work on something yeah. and I thought like um, at the time that song would bring you know memories and all of that so let me send that to him and you see um then again, their reaction. Yeah. You yeah. know, like Valasi was like, ah, yeah, bro, like I'll just jump on this, yeah. you know, this song, yeah, you know, say this song. The excitement. Same with it, you see. Yeah. And then I think Manifest gave like the verse in like a few days or two wow. days or three days or so, yeah. And all of them, all of them, um, when they send their vocal, also the day we're actually mixing the song, I had my friends from Denmark were in town, uh, Katrina Sowalski. So, the sax was played live. Oh, okay. Okay. The, and the guitars were played live. Um, and then also, um, the laboratory, the legend, mm-hmm. uh, did flutes. Okay. On, on there. So the on flutes it. were live as well. And they were in the studio. So when they heard it, like, ah, now we need to jump on this one. Oh, okay. So it's the reason why I say that uh, the song is quite spiritual yes. and it's very loaded. 